what remains of the walls of the castle of Tiana, what remains of the castle of Tiana. Now, big castles are being are elsewhere, but Tiana is a big narrow castle. More like a walled in area, it's not because of the big castle, a lot of people think kings and queens. No, nothing like that. It was a walled in area where people traded, as I like to call the gas station of the old times. Remember, this was not a big thing here. So people just came, mostly from Duros, all the way to Thessaloniki, all the way to Istanbul. So they come through here, trade, continue. Now, a hundred years ago, this was abandoned and destroyed. And all the remains are these walls right here. Even some of them are mostly damaged, but that's all the remains. Now, everything you're about to see right now, as we enter here, everything is done here only two years ago. Everything. There's a nice restaurant, a coffee shop, and a good ice cream place. That's a nice area. Let's go through it. Next stop is going to be the Catholic Cathedral. We're going to go through this part right here. Oh, India. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of 18, she goes to India, she's famous in India, uh, which gets a Nobel Peace Prize growing up in those times here. I did not know who she was. We're not allowed to know anything about religion or people that were connected to religion. She comes here after system change a few times. In 97, she passed away. Five years ago, she's made a saint. Saint Teresa now. As our days are very proud. Now, days, that's why the only airport is named after her. And September the 5th, it's a national holiday called St. Teresa Day. That's how important she is for his wife. Now, here we got a new Catholic cathedral, very new. It was built in 2002, so 20 years ago. It's called St. Paul Cathedral. Now, St. Paul is the guy up there. Who really looks like he's taking a selfie picture from over there. Yeah. Or maybe he's doing the Italian thing. <laughs> Let's have a quick look inside. Very good look. Francis came in 2014. 
in this country. Again, 300,000 people show up in the middle of the world to work in the world. As I said, this is a big thing emotionally because we're not much religious, as I said. Can you first find me? Okay, I know it's not much to look at it, but I kind of want you to look at that ugly building that's going under renovation. Pyramida, or Pyramid Shape building. That was built after the dictator died. He died in 85. And then, to clarify, built that building right there. It was a museum all about him. And we like or not, we have to come to see the museum. And that system changed, nobody wanted to go to the anymore. It was made a cultural center. So for many, many years, it served as a cultural center. Around 10 years ago, there was a political debate of what to do with it. We could not decide. But the last 10 years, was still been left there, abandoned, useless, and no plan. Finally, a year ago, exactly uh, last year, November last year, the city was made to renovate it. The work in progress, the pyramid ship building is going to look like that. When it's finished, it's going to look like that. And it's going to be a center for information technology, IT center. For the members of the parliament, we elect 140 members of parliament. Parliament or the winning party will elect the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, he rules. We also have a president, but our president is very much symbolic. We have many parties now, two are the main ones, honestly, Socialist ruling party and Democratic Party of Albania. So Socialists have been in power for eight years, they won the elections again, four more years. Prime Minister of Albania for eight years has been this guy named Edi Rama. Not sure if you heard of him, A.D. Rama. By profession, an artist, used to be mayor of Tirana. He came up with the idea to paint a lot of the buildings in red colors. Now he's a prime minister. His office is this one right here. That is prime minister's office. So when he got the office the first time, he gets two gifts. The German artist gave him the mushroom. The magic mushroom, the poisonous mushroom was given to him by a German artist. The French artist gave him this white, this white extension is coming up, a light. Actually, the whole thing is a light. And the night is a neon light, and the night that looks like a nightclub or a casino. But he said, no, no, that is art. Now, every time you see that door open, there are three doors. Every time you see the middle door open, everybody can enter there for free. Just enter and visit the two stores of five minutes. Some local artists show they over there, time of time there. Yeah, he's, he's really a character, if you look about him. He often meets Angela Merkel dressed in a very nice dark suit. You go to meet her dressed in a nice dark suit and white Adidas shoes. And from all the painters of the whole world, I'm the best prime minister. That's why I go for this picture right there. It's a little humor. Do you see anything? <laughs> I, I only smell something. They decided to go in, it's small as valley, yeah. Not designed for tall Dutch people. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, we talk about the bunkers, right? How many bunkers were there all over Albania? 
Uh, there are two types of bunkers. Under the ground, fortification, like Bangkok 1, Bangkok 2. When I grew up, my apartment comes, my apartment building, five floor building. Underneath, we had the fortification place. Not big like Bangkok 2, smaller, but we have around 10 rooms, and we can go there, sometimes training. If a nuclear attack happens, you're thinking, you go down there. So, less of those, but more bunkers were built something like this. We call them all bunkers. Bunkers like this. So total, we estimate nearly 175,000 bunkers all of Albania. Mainly are like this. So maybe 169,000 are like this. The rest are under. But this, what you see, that's all it is. It's layers of metal and concrete. It's prefabricated, as you can see here, or here, here. It's prefabricated. And they are put all over the country. So factories produce them military decides where to put them. They're mostly put in the border areas. Now something like this is designed for one person, but depends, well, but again, in this case, one person. One soldier with a gear, Kalashnikov, and helmet and so on, he can go inside here and take a fighting position and shoot the enemy through those windows. There are two tiny windows here, so you shoot the enemy there. And he's supposed to stay here and protect the fighting position. So you expect the enemy to come that direction. So you're going to protect everything here. You expect it to come that direction. If, if the enemy the comes this direction, yeah, it's a big trouble. <laughs> That's so good. Many, of them, many of them are being destroyed in private land. Many of them still exist in state land. पार्लियामेंट यहाँ का अल्बेनिया का और यहाँ पे भी बहुत सारी मीटिंग चल रही है शायद कुछ तो बहुत सारे कैमरामैन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड के कैमरामैन खड़े हैं यहाँ पे एक हजार हो सकता है हाँ एमपी हो सकता है कौन इधर रहेंगे दो चार एमपी बोलते हैं नो आइडिया गेट इट क्लोजर व्हाट इज़ दिस he lived here until he died. And then after he died, his family lived here for seven more years. And in 92, when everything changed, his family was simply kicked out from here. Kicked out? See, in 92, when everything changed, you know, we did not have private sector, right? So in 92, uh, me and my family lived in this uh, apartment, Thomas apartment. It's protected, it's clean, it's nice, it's taken care of, actually. Government pay people to take care of every morning to open and take care of it but no plans of what to do with it yet. But still, I will walk through this tour individually so that I can record it with information. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Every day of the seven p.m. So, okay. so now, and actually, that house of leaves there had no doors. The secret entrance was under. So just you know, so the whole thing was covered with some trees that grow there, and they put some leaves there. Even today, they have some. And it was a very called house with leaves. Yeah, house with leaves. Especially, uh, you know, this is some of that house of leaves. Uh,